Okay, this is a very exciting one because it's a very expensive stone. This is the Scan 67. This is their sort of imagining of the future of stoves. So it's a system called Sensoric or Zensoric, something like that. I know I will know more as we go through and uh, to get to the review, but this is our first impressions and sort of unboxing or reveal of the stove. Um, it certainly looks spectacular. We've got this piece of glass, like there are often curved bits of glass, but this is something else. This thing goes like basically a full 180 degrees. And um, the first thing you'll notice that that's a, a little bit different is, we listen. It's like Darth Vader. <laughs> it, it, did you, it, you may have seen some flashes yeah, yeah, there. Did, yeah. um, now, I don't think that this ordinarily is like a noisy stove with lots of that going on. I think there's, um, uh, when you first open it, it engages things, it's sort of opening air vents and getting set up and then... Basically the rest of the time it's silent, so I, I'm not expecting it to be a nuisance. I hope not, because it's, it it's obviously... Brilliant. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's a hell of a flash thing. Um, so, and this is like a sort of, this is the, the only real control that you have. Um, there are other controls that you do when you're first setting the stove up and, and getting it fitted um, that your fitter will sort of worry about. But basically, from what I understand initially, is you set this on high or on low, chuck your fuel in or light the stove and chuck your fuel in and the stove manages the air, opens it up, closes it down, um, has a little light that comes on when you need to reload it. Um, it, it it's sort of, the, the idea is that obviously the efficiencies of stoves has grown enormously, but most users won't be able to achieve those figures because they're still learning the stove. I mean, that's partly what the channel is about, is teaching people how to get the most out of their stove and, and do things that are helpful to them rather than, you know, what somebody's written in a brochure. You know, everything's so sanitized nowadays, isn't it? You can't say the wrong thing, otherwise you're gonna be damned. And I, I've got to get this right, but what I want to be able to do is give people real information and not worry about the I've said the wrong thing so hopefully that works <laughs> for this um, but there's a lot of sort of it doing it for you um, it's almost like an electric car where you've potentially can let go of the steering wheel and it sort of takes over you've still got to start it like the car you've still got to sort of do a few things but it will get those levels like of efficiency. Control. Sorry? A bit like cruise control. Yeah, it is. It. It, it, it will get the level of efficiency that they've done in testing in your home. When you open it, you do just pull it. There's no sort of clinking a handle uh, and uh, it spins out. And when you, there's a little block, which I presume is so that when you're lighting the stove, you can let a bit of extra air in and then you just touch it and it sort of clunks right back up. But what do you think of that, Amy? I mean, it, it feels like it's well engineered, doesn't it? I mean, it's, well, I mean, it's beautifully put together. I mean, it's, every single bit of it is, is stunning. Doesn't pass the, you know, I mean. The 90 degree. Yeah, the, I mean, the opening is plenty big enough. But because this glass is like 180 degrees of glass, <laughs> it only opens that far. Um, but to be fair, 
maybe I need to get a shot of it from over here. Yeah, yeah. But there's there's plenty of space. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm able to work with it. Um, what comes with it? That's what you, you have there. More and different collar. I mean, there's a collar on the stove oh, already. Is there? Oh, but the pipe is in. Um, so there are more collars, which I don't know where they go. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, okay. Well, that's the first thing to stump me. And there are some fixings for those collars, so that sounds sensible. Uh, oh, look at that. We get a congratulations from Scam because we've bought something that is obviously very, very, very special. Yeah, apparently it's five kilowatts. It looks like quite a big stove for five kilowatts, but uh, a scan glove, which of course, you, of course you should have a scan glove. Um, oh, obviously there's a cast iron grate in there, but it's, it's an interesting setup. So you can lift the grate out and then there is a, an ash pan inside of that. Um, now, I would imagine that probably, I mean, this is quite a special thing. So I think if you were using it more seriously, probably most people are just going to leave that in there and allow the ash to build up a bit. But um, because that's best for fuel economy with wood. But I think perhaps with this being quite a spectacular thing, maybe it's used. I mean, it's certainly one hell of a showpiece, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, looking forward to using it. Yeah, I mean, this. You know, it's a bit exciting for us, isn't it? Because it's a bit different. Oh yeah. What I worry about with that ash pan is. Um, yeah. When you're lifting ash out, is ash going to fall in underneath, and can you access it, or is it? So, uh, well, it's a, it's quite a nice deep setup, yeah. and I don't think. I mean, I'm sure some could fall down either side, but there is plenty of room down there and, and you know, you could just hoover it out if you right. needed oh, to. Right, oh, okay, then um, it's like, it's sort of, it doesn't go down into the... No, no, oh, okay. no, it, it, it's, it's pretty well thought out. Um, okay, in that case, I quite like that lifting out. Scan is all about design. They really are focused on making things stunning and beautifully put together. Um, we're going to find out whether they favoured form over function. I'm hoping it's got both. I mean, you'd expect with something of this calibre to have both. Uh, and certainly something where it's sort of managing itself. I mean, uh, uh, it's, it's sort of making me redundant. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm interested in whether I can compete with it. I sort of think to myself, <laughs> oh, hang on a minute, I want to take another scan run them side by side and see who gets better figures. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that handle is lovely. Really, I mean, it looks really smart. It feels... Stay cool, do you reckon? Oh, it's wood. It's that, wood? That is wood. So, yeah, yeah. definitely it's not going to get hot. Um, I mean, it might get warm, but, mm. you know, you're going to be able to hold this handle. Um, I mean, I haven't used it yet, but you, you're going to have to be able to hold that handle because it's made of wood. Um, uh, yeah, it's... I mean, it was interesting because it was when it was first delivered, so it was in our hallway and, and yeah. our postman saw it and he took a picture of it because he instantly yeah, you could can, feel it was special. Yeah, you can spot it immediately. It just, just, you know, just opening the door and going, oh, well, that's quite lovely. And, oh, we've got, yes, it's magnetised, so it will pull itself back quite strongly, but there's a little block that comes out, so you can leave the door just ajar, and then just a touch, and it shuts itself. Or you can just, you know, shut it. But, oh, that feels nice. Um, I haven't yet, so it's wobbling a little bit, there are adjusters on the legs to get it absolutely level. Apparently on this stove, getting it absolutely level is important. So the adjusters on the legs are really good. It's not a problem to get it absolutely level. But because it's managing itself, it's got a sensor in the top. And uh, if it's off set to one side, you're going to get heat more to a, 
in, in a particular right. direction. So they want it, they want it perfectly level. Um, the obvious other thing I was thinking about was electronics and heat and, you know, how reliable is this? Is this going to mm. break up? And obviously, I think it's fair to say they've spent a lot of time and money making sure that that is right. Mm -hmm. I have seen the electronics, and to be fair, it's really very simple. I don't yeah, know exactly yeah, yet what it's doing, but I'm not thinking, oh, this is going to be an absolute, you know, nightmare. It's not... Some things are overly complicated, and you think, how reliable is that? This doesn't feel complicated. Um, the, the biggest inconvenience or sort of odd thing, I suppose, is potentially once a, I don't know, once a month maybe, you're going to plug it in and mm. charge it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's the sort of thing where I'd have like a power pack. I yeah. wouldn't, like, plug it in. I'd just have a little power pack and just shuck it in and there. And it depends how much you use it, presumably. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I was going to sort of show you the... You'd only ever do this when you were fitting the stove. Lift out. And we have some electrics. Um, but this has got several layers of heat shield, so the idea is this doesn't get hot at all. Well, I've got some learning to do, I think. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it, this is definitely, this is brand new. This is, oh, flip it, look, we've got lights flashing. I'm sure that's going to be telling me off. I've probably done something wrong. We've got loads to learn. Uh, if you're interested in this model, obviously there'll be lots of videos about it. I actually went over to Poland when they were first talking about releasing this model. So it's only just been released, but before it had been released, uh, they invited me over to Poland and so there's been another video about my trip over there and seeing their factory and uh, how these things go together. Uh, I, I'm hoping that will be a fairly short video, but um, yeah, this is quite an exciting one. And uh, hopefully uh, we discover something that is, I mean, what they're suggesting, this system might transform the industry. Um, so let's find out. <laughs> <laughs>